Sound design. Yeah. So how do you align your mains with your front fills using Smart? Why am I still wearing a hat in the summer? These are all questions that need to be answered today. I've been putting this video off for a long time though because uh, every time I think about talking about aligning front fills, I think about the complications of level set and the interactions depending on where you put the microphone. I'm gonna try to make today's video short and simple though um, because what I want to focus on mainly is just finding the acoustic crossover point. Uh, in this case, the spatial crossover point, that's going to be the point in space somewhere, this is me carrying a microphone, where our main and our front fill are at equal level. Because where we have equal level, we want matching time arrivals as well. So I want to talk about how I do that now in Smart. When I was at Rational Acoustics, one of the coolest things that I learned was this thing called proportional panes. So over here in Smart, if you hit Option T, that'll take you to your transfer function options here. And if you click Proportional Panes, watch this. Boom, now we have a bigger live IR window here. And you're gonna see why this is important in just a minute. Okay, so imagine that we are on the part of our system optimization process where we have already level set our main and our front fill, we've done EQ and level, and now we need to find the acoustic spatial crossover point between those two elements. So we're going to turn them on both at once and look at their live IR. Looking at the live IR, first thing I wanna point out is that we can't see the peak of this guy here. So imagining that these are our two speakers. Um, so you need to know a little bit about how to get around in all of these graphs. Um, and this one, just like the other ones, you can zoom in and out on the Y axis with the plus and minus keys. So here I am zooming in, here I am zooming out. I'm gonna keep zooming out until I can see that peak. Another way to handle this would be um, the up down arrow keys. And now I can see that peak, okay? So that's an important thing to know. Uh, by the way, option command plus and minus are the zoom for the uh, X axis here. And then you have zoom presets, option Z, uh, you have zoom presets just like in all the other windows. So if I click on the outside here, that'll zoom back to default. And then option one is uh, zoomed all the way in, two, three, four, like that. Okay, so back to this point, I can't see the peak, so I'll hit the down, I'm sorry, up arrow key a few times. Now I can see the peak, okay, of both of these. And so, Wherever I am with my microphone now, I need to find the point in space where both of these peaks are equal. And it would be nice if Smart would, you know, tell me up here in the cursor readout what the actual level is here, over here on the Y axis. Maybe there's some way to do that. If you know how to do that, let me know. I would love to know how to do that. Um, but what we can do is we can just use our eyes here. And so imagine me out in the field, I've got my iPad, I'm looking at this, and now I'm gonna take my microphone and Move it to the left or the right. Um, oh, here's why I'm getting I'm getting too complicated. It's moving left to the right if your front fill is only a lateral extension, right? But you might be moving front to back if your front fill um, is actually a vertical extension below the main. Okay, that's what I wanted to try to avoid temporarily. So I'm just going to artificially adjust these so you can kind of see what's happening when I move the mic. You know, one should get smaller and the other one should get higher. Okay, so now we're pretty close. And now we might want to zoom in a little bit and up arrow key. Okay, so this one's still a little bit hotter. So I'm just gonna artificially make these exactly the same. Okay, so then we would find the point where these are exactly the same. Okay, great. Now we have equal level. Now we want equal time. So I might put my cursor here and see that we are uh, 3.67 milliseconds away, or I could solo each element, so mute one of these guys. Okay, 5.3 milliseconds, and then I'm going to solo the other guy, hit find delay, and this time I'm not gonna click insert, I'm just looking at delta delay, 3.67 milliseconds, Basically, I just need to take out this delay that I had in earlier. You see that it jumps to the center here. And now if I hit find delay again, zero milliseconds. Okay, success, right? And 
if I hit cancel and if I turn these both on together, then we should get double the peak there, right? Because they're both on top of each other. Okay. That is the simple process that I now use to find the acoustic crossover point. So I hope this is helpful to you guys. Um, let me know if you've tried this method. Let me know what your results are. And if you have a different method of time aligning your main to your front fill and smart, uh, please let me know. I'm always trying to improve my own methods. Oh, and obviously the reason that I'm still wearing a hat in summer is that it's not summer yet. It's still spring and here in Minneapolis, it's still something like 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So stop judging me. Sound design. <laughs> yeah.